Hey guys, Warchild V1 here with some more Dark Souls 2 New Game Plus. Alright, uh, I am gonna go ahead and just burst the life gem and, well, fuck it, let's just sit here. And go kill these fuckers again. Alright, get that, go in here, no, wrong way, wrong way, go on, get your kids, if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding, <laughs> you remember that. How could you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Go on, get your kids! That was some of my favorite music growing up, and it's still awesome. Freaking crossbow bolts really hurt. Alright, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna kill most of the enemies. Then I'm gonna summon Lucetille and we're gonna go fight. That's the game plan. And I want this uh, item pickup right down here, so. We're gonna jump off uh, right before we cross this right here. Yes, yes. Right about here's good enough. Lacerating, lacerating arrows. Yeah, I was stupid. I can't believe I just missed it so many times. There we go. one down. Don't jump down there. That will kill you, by the way. I just got a bell keeper shield. Here's a sublime bone dust, but if you're on New, Ga New Game Plus, it's pretty much useless, I think. Here is a really big ass illusionary wall, by the way. In case you didn't know that. Giant illusionary wall. I figured it out when uh, I summoned help one time and my help went and kept pointing at it, so I went and checked it out. And uh, don't walk straight out if you go out here. Don't don't walk straight out. There's there's a walkway that you could just fall right off. So um, that's all you get out here. Nothing major.
He's not gonna make it very far. You gotta love the poison arrows. You see that? You know that shit would hurt. Yeah, you don't really wanna let that hit you. Thank you, Bastille Key. I don't think there's anything in these rooms. I think this area is just... What's this say? Weakness, death. Yeah, I bet. I'm pretty sure that's all you get out of that. So, let's go summon Lucetil. And let's go try to kill the... the what is it, the Lost Center? It's either the Lost Center or the Last Center. I don't remember. Who cares? This is right here by the Elevator. And hopefully her and I can beat the Center's ass. Um, the Center's kind of hard on New Game Plus just because you get a couple freaking Black Phantom Pyromancers on your ass and that kind of sucks you know yeah that makes it kind of shitty I forgot all about these. Lucetil, stop it. Seriously. God, you're making me nervous, I swear. I've summoned her for help before and she just fell right in. That's why I want her to stop it. All right, so this right here is very, very, very super useful. If, uh, if you get here to this boss fight, but you do have to kill the gargoyles first before you can get a torch here to set this light. But this lights up the boss room and it makes it to where you can actually lock onto her from a much further distance. Much further distance. Basically dark areas you just can't lock on very far and that's the same for Dark Souls 1. In the first Dark Souls, um, Dark and Orlando, your lock on range is like ridiculously short. But that's what happens in the dark. There we go. Smooth and silky. Yeah, yeah. Is there a pyromancy buff for a sword? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, let me know on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Lost Center really isn't that bad. You just wait till you get your openings and go for them. That's about it. Just like any other boss. The only thing is on New Game Plus, when these Pyromancers come in here, it does definitely get harder. That's for sure, you know. Because they can really, really hurt you.
But we're about to see how much fire defense these pyromancers have. There they are. They got some fire defense. It's not that they're hard to kill, but if you're playing this solo, then they're hard to kill. Because you got this stuff going on while you're fighting the center. Which does make it a little harder. I think Lucetiel ain't gonna make it. Yeah. That's okay. There goes the center. Um, like I said, it's not that bad if you have Luke Fill with you. In fact, the, the Lost Center is not that bad, period. Once you understand her moveset. Um, I just really like having Luke Till with me. Uh, with those two Pyromancers. If you're in the middle of fighting her, you have to time your attacks. You have to wait until she's done with her two or three swings. Once she's done with hers, then you can hit her once. Or you'd be able to hit a Pyromancer once. But... If you're trying to dodge her attacks and you have Pyromancers throwing, like, fucking great fireballs at you, it kind of sucks. So, that's why I like to summon Lucetiel for that. So, sorry if it disappoints any of you that I did summon help, but I don't care. I've done this enough times to learn that. Yes, I can do it myself, and I'm very proud that I can do it myself, but... It's a lot harder to do a New Game Plus, and I might as well just save the stress and do it this way. Alright, what's up, Buck Nasty? So, there you go. There's the Lost Center. Now let's move on to one of my favorite areas. I love the gutter. I hate, uh, what, the gulch? I don't really hate it. I just hate those stupid statues that spit at you. They piss me off. Do you sell anything worth a shit, lady? You've been long away. Well, Shut up. Well, thank you. Visit me again, whenever you please. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I'll be around if you will. I know you will. You're always around. You would get by item. Why not? What else can we waste our souls on? Sure. Uh sure. Got ninety one witching urns. Sweet, I'm maxed out on all that shit. And that. I still haven't spent everything. I've spent plenty. Oh, you're welcome. Fucking creepy whatever you are. Oh, I should have bought a bunch of buffs from this guy. Damn it, man. Well, you know what? I have... Here. Sorry, guys. Let me waste your time for a minute here. I have some souls that, I mean, what am I going to do with them? Seeing as how I'm not going to level up anymore. What is this? Oh, that's Sublime Bone Dust. I wish I could use it. I have six Estus Shards. One. Oh, I'm so stupid. So, did you know that if you have an int build, 
and you make a Moonlight Greatsword, you could turn it to Magic Ascension. It turns into S scaling on Magic. That's pretty damn awesome, isn't it? I don't like my int build. I'm not a big fan of intelligence in this game. Hexes, they're alright. Faith, they're fucking badass. But I'm not a fan of of most sorceries. Come to see. And it's dumb that you have to get really far in the game before the sorceries are even worth a shit, you know? I think it's dumb. There we go. Cheers for that. <laughs> I bet you're happy, dude. Alright. Cheers for that. There it is. That's good enough. go back to Havel's leggings all right all right you guys are probably gonna hate me but what I'm gonna do is just kind of run right through this place um, that's what I do because I think it's so stupid being summoned to the world of the gray or as a gray or whatever however they word it I think it's fucking stupid I really do. Oh yeah, let me fight a bunch of rats and your bitch ass. You know, that's fucking annoying. So... I go through, I pick shit up, and I just go. I'm gonna kill all the rats once I get over here. Here comes the rats. Being summoned. Isn't that stupid? Now I get to go fight some asshole in his world with all his enemies against me. All you get is a lock stone for beating them. It's just annoying, that's all. <laughs> Come on, dude that sucks at PvP. That's why you're doing this. Because you don't want to have to fight me yourself. I hear him casting. You hear that? I heard that. They usually set a bunch of traps for you. Like that trap. Tears up your equipment. Hmm. Dude, where's your bitch ass at? such a bitch, you know that. Here, I'll heal too. Guess what? Come here. Damn it, dude. I'm fucking 
stunned to death. I can't move. Yeah. Like I said, that's for the weaklings. My, my fucking sword kept hitting the wall. Dude had me, like, back in the corner back there, and my sword was like, clink, clink. It's like, fuck. I planned on stun-locking him to death from back there, but whatever. Yeah. Those people just annoy the shit out of me. Just the fact that... They're like, hey, come to my world. Fight my enemies and me. It just really bugs me, that's all. But whatever, they put it in the game. It's like Doors of Pharaohs. I hate that area. It's so stupid. It's just an area that it makes me want to rush through. That's all. Makes you want to hurry your way through it so you don't get summoned into someone's shitty world of traps. <laughs> all right. The bad thing is, most of the time I do whoop their asses for it, but... Sometimes I don't. Like that time, I really didn't. But, you know. We all play the healing game. It's just so dumb. I hate that part, too. Um, let's use a weapon that we can swing a little quicker for this fight. Um, I do have a katana somewhere, right? I seriously don't have a katana with this character. How stupid. All I have is a washing pole. See, I don't like this character near as much as I did when I first started this playthrough, or I would have chose a different character. Whatever, I'll just use what I got. It's not what I want to use, but whatever. Um, now, I have a lot of other builds that are so much better than this one. I can't believe I don't have a damn katana. That's something I need to work on. Big Master, leave me alone, dude. Sorry to say that. But he always wants to chat. He always wants me to play with him. And it's like, dude, come on, man. You and, like, fucking hundreds of others. <laughs> you guys are all awesome, but I'm sorry. I'm not always going to have time to just play with you. Uh, especially if I'm trying to catch up on my videos. Let's chat. Yeah, dude, because I got all the time in the world. Let's chat. Ah! These rats are going to fucking kill me with the poison build. That's not even poison, is it? That's like petrify, isn't it? I can't hit the fucking rat. It's right there and I can't hit it. Go, go, go. You're about to die, dude. These rats almost have me. I'm trying to get that build up to go down. But I know I have to keep killing them if I ever want the boss to show up. I just want that fucking petrification shit to go down or whatever it is. Come on down, buddy. I can't lock onto him. Fuck. Isn't that so dumb? Ugh. What? There we go. I got him. I got him. Yeah, well, I finally got locked onto him, but you see where that got me. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. That's not the weapon I want to fucking use. I can't find a damn weapon that I want to use. Not with this character. That's too bad, man. 
I wish I could just swap this uh, playthrough out with another character. But it don't work like that. Because this doesn't have anything I want. I mean, we could go with a Claymore or something. Weak. But whatever. That's what I'm going to use. It's going to be fucking weak, but that's what I'm going to use. Um, there we go. Alright, let's go with this weak shit. I'm going to become human just to have a bigger HP bar, guys. So, Yeah. That and I lost my hair. I hate it when I lose my hair. There we go. We're good. All right, let's go. Get up. At least maybe I can hit the fucking rats with this weapon. Maybe. Do 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 do. That's not where I was trying to lock on. I can never lock on to the right rat, the one that I want. But I mean, in a room full of rats, what do you expect? Alright. Yeah, I'm doing really bad already. Uh, can't hit the ones I want to hit. That's my own shitty skill. Yeah, this is working out a lot better than the Murakuma was. Why did it unlock? You saw that, right? It just fucking unlocked for me. No, 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 I'm gonna die. Uh, I couldn't get that out fast enough. It like unlocked. I was in the middle of attacking the, the boss and it unlocked and I started swinging somewhere else. I guess I unlocked. I don't know. Whatever. I suck. I'm getting salty. Not really, but that did just suck. I was fucking... I swear I was locked on and all of a sudden I'm not locked on. That had to be my bad. I mean, it just had to be. So, whatever. Let's do it again. Let's do it again! We're almost to the gutter. I love the gutter. Wonder how this does in here. Okay, I just plain out could not hit him, and I was locked on, I was right there. I suck, guys. I really do. Where's this fucking boss at? Oh, there he is, there he is. Nope. Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again, guys. I'm sorry. Got him! My god, fuck you guys. Where are you going? Oh wow, great combust would have been a good thing. Alright. Alright. Invader trip. Dude's back from the army, it looks like. He must be home on leave. Leave this place, human. He was in the military no of some time. sort. Humans. Yeah, I don't want to be in your fucking shitty covenant. It's a covenant for people that are scared to fight. <laughs> uh, I love it. Sweet. I can't believe I died like two or three times to that boss. I haven't done that very often. Mm 
All right, let's try to uh, plunge attack this dude. Got him. And of course, the item always falls. I hate that part. One shot. I like that. Even in the nuts. Um, that right there, well, as you guys have seen on one of my playthroughs anyway, is the disc chime. Which is a shield slash chime all in one. So if you have a faith character and you want a shield that is also a chime, I think that one is really, really cool. And how come I still hear a crystal lizard? I must be missing one. No, it's this one. Yeah, it is that one. You can tell the sound got louder when I got the camera close. Uh, that disc chime is really cool for a faith build, in my opinion. It's not the strongest chime ever, but the fact that you can block and cast with it, I think is awesome. I do. I love the dragon chime. I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, basically, mainly because of its size. It's not big. It's not like a giant tree. Uh... It's just not a huge, ugly chime, like some can be. And that was pointless as shit. You try jumping off. You kidding? He even got ratings on that shit. They're like, yeah, jump off. Just check the blood stains, guys. Check the blood stains. 32 minutes. Fuck. All right, let's do this. I don't want to go down here yet. Do you see what's going on? You think it's really giving me all these? No, that's all stuff that I maxed out on. Oh, fuck you! Well, that's how you die. That's all stuff that I'm already maxed on. Fuck you, dude. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not, because it's NPC. If that was a real person, I would have just got reposted. I'm not even sure which side that fucker came out of. That side. It was that side. There's a miracle dude down there. Which I do not need great heal by any means. Can't use it with this character. So I don't plan on going that way. FYI. Um, there's a great heal down there plus a... Uh, Black Phantom Cleric. FYI. The fucking Cleric casts a bunch of uh, nasty shit. Human Effigy. Alright guys, well you know what? This video has gone on long enough. So on the next video, we're going to push our way down to the gutter and uh, make our way to the rotten and then possibly the forgotten key and we'll just go from there. So hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough. Please comment, like, and sub if you haven't. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So thanks for watching.
Now please go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Hold on, I need to talk to Kenny first. What? No. He wants to be my friend. Hey Clyde, give me a weapon. Like to see my wares, weary traveler. Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors.